It actually happened. I've been working at it for so long and finally yesterday, I got top rated seller on Fiverr. And now I wanna let you know how you can maybe do that too. Now this video will be more for people who are working on Fiverr already and are likely level one or two sellers. But before we get started, you should know that top rated seller works a little bit differently than the other categories. For levels one and two, there is just a strict metric that you can look at. It'll be, you need to make this much money, be on the platform for this long, have this high of reviews, don't cancel this many, that sort of thing. And as soon as you hit those criteria and you come up to your review date, you automatically get it, as far as I know. For top rated seller, it does not work that way. You actually have to hit all the criteria and then there's a manual review, as far as I know, where they look at some more criteria that's not listed there and make a decision on whether or not you are top rated seller material. <laughs> Here are the three things to focus on if you're working on getting top rated seller. Number one, focus on your business. Don't overdo changes just to get there. What you really need to do is completely forget about making it the top rated seller. I know it sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but what you really need to do is focus on making your business work as best it can. You need to think about things that you can do to add value to your customers. Think about ways that you can increase your own revenue. Are your extras priced competitively? Can you start bumping up those prices? Any of these things that you can do to make your business work better and make more money is going to naturally lead towards you being better top rated seller material. Let's get to number two, slow and steady changes. You don't wanna change anything too drastically and have yourself losing impressions, losing customers, actually burning bridges for customers who you're working with currently when you're not ready to take on new business at different rates. There are two things that they're gonna be looking for here. One is your average order price, and the other is your starting rate. You wanna get that average order price up. You also wanna make sure that your starting rate is competitive with other people in your category. Number three, you wanna make sure you have consistent, good quality interactions with your customers because Fiverr wants to make sure that people are having a really good time when they're using the platform. And that means when you're dealing with them, you can totally change that. They're either having a great time talking to you or they're not. To see if that's happening, they're gonna see if you're responding to customers quickly and whether or not you're getting really good reviews when you do complete an order for them. Here's a bonus one. We'll call it number four, but whatever. Don't sweat the speed bumps. You're gonna have stuff get in your way all the time. There's gonna be an issue with a customer. You're gonna have maybe a late because something happened, your family, whatever. I got sick twice this year already and it was terrible, but we got through it and you will get through all these things too, as long as you just keep pushing forward. If you only aim towards having that bad showing on your profile, once you actually get there, it might feel kind of empty. Nothing actually changed on your account. You just have a new batch. And at that point, you might feel a little bit lost. So what you really need to do is have goals that are beyond that. Have goals like, I wanna complete this many orders, or I wanna work with that specific company who's really great. Or of course, I wanna make ridiculously stupid amounts of money. That's always a good option too. <laughs> so those are my three tips for people trying to make top rated seller on Fiverr. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you wanna subscribe, do that too, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.